Check fraud is a rampant problem, we know, which is why banks have to crack down when they suspect fraud. But what about when the check is legit but still gets the bank account frozen? That's what happened to a parolee who turned his life around while serving time. When his account was frozen since last year, he called Nina Pineda. They're saying the check was altered? Yeah. But this was your paycheck. This was my paycheck. For his work as a paralegal, Leonard Rollick Jr. gets paid by the U.S. Treasury Department. But when his paycheck from Uncle Sam got flagged for fraud, Leonard's newly opened bank account was abruptly frozen and closed. He's been trying to find his money for almost a year. The U.S. Treasury says it was cashed. Right. So where's the 10000 well, They never could tell me that. His deposit was made March 7th of 2023. So you deposited your check in the ATM? Yes, ma'am. Leonard, I mean, you don't watch me? No, I I'm always so, say don't put your checks in the Listen, ATM. You know. Large sum checks can trigger fraud warnings. Seven on your side has helped half a dozen customers of various banks who together had almost a quarter million dollars frozen. Insurance policy settlements, disability checks, lump sum work payments like Leonard's, and home sale deposits have all resulted in frozen accounts. Leonard's paycheck represented 162 hours of his work with the criminal justice program, which provides legal help for defendants in federal court who can't afford lawyers. A lot of lawyers see a benefit in me because I'm a formerly incarcerated person. Leonard served nearly 26 years in prison after being convicted convicted of racketeering and narcotics offenses. But Leonard spent his time in the library learning law. He earned his Bachelor of Science and Paralegal degrees and since his release has worked on numerous cases with some high profile attorneys. For his U.S. government paycheck to be considered fraudulent was infuriating. I mean, of course I was angry. So we contacted Leonard's bank and within a day. It definitely made something happen in like 24 hours. He got his entire account unfrozen, a total of $10,562.50. If you have any problems, you better call Nina Pineda because she actually works very fast. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. And the big takeaway to avoid frozen accounts, never deposit big checks or large amounts of cash in the ATM. Always go in the branch, ask to talk to the manager and explain your deposit. Plus, be prepared to provide ID and proof of why you have been issued that check. Nina Pineda, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.